but now I'm feeling you know a little a little bit differently about it um, uh, I feel myself the in the phrase that I've been using is returning the factory settings you know how how we're supposed to be when we come from the factory if you know what I mean but then life happens and it's not supposed to change who you are but it does change who you are you know you you know we we're a product of our experiences pretty much and I haven't had that many good ones unfortunately I've had some good ones but that hasn't been majority of my experiences so I've kind you know I kind of shied away from people you know shied away from a lot of things just because people just were terrible to me you know the people outside of my very small circle <laughs> you know I, I just I had zero faith in humanity when I left and slowly but surely it's been coming back and now I have you know this I don't want to say new outlook because I've always had the outlook I've just had to hide it to protect myself because you know being open historically has has messed me up it really has so you know I became closed off and that's just just what kind of what happened but now with with everything that I've been experiencing the obstacles the good the bad you know the beautiful all of that you know it's it's changing me and I feel like it's changing me into who I would have been if not for all these bad experiences you know so I've been of course you know walking in silence and just being me and a dog and being around nature you know it, it forces you to think about things you wouldn't normally think about so I've been I've been deep in thought these last few days and it, it seems like how can I explain when I when I get deep in my thoughts I don't notice how bad the walk is or how hilly it is and you know next thing I know I've you know walked two or three miles in one hour but it seems like when I try to focus on the walk like I was doing on the CNO canal it makes it kind of um, go a little bit slower so now I'm thinking this phase of my journey I am supposed to be deep in my thoughts because you know there's a lot of you know things I'm trying to work out in my mind and at some point in time I did have to go into deep thought and and not just oh this is so pretty oh this is so nice you know on and on like I've been doing you know now now I'm, I'm finding myself getting more into my head which at first when I first started out that's not where I wanted to be because I felt like I kept missing out on stuff but I guess that's how it works you know everything everything in, to me everything in life boils down to a series of phases and I guess during this phase is where I'm supposed to be really thinking about some of the things that have happened um, and you know trying to move past it because many things um, I've moved past a long time ago or at least so you think but you know you'll have these thoughts just hit you out of nowhere like something you haven't thought about in 25 years you know just be like dang where that come from and and you know so I'm finding myself I because when it was happening on the CNO canal I would push it away because I thought it was you know distracting me you know from what I was trying to do but now I'm seeing it's part of it because <clears throat> you know if you watch some of my other videos you know I'm not about this negative or positive stuff I'm about necessary and unnecessary which that's the only thing that <clears throat> matters to me because you know I, what I've you know in my experience like the super super positive people have a have a, um, a little they, they they lie a lot <laughs> that's my experience <laughs> they lie a lot to themselves to me to a bunch of people so I definitely don't want to be one of those and then those people I find also don't know really how to handle adversity that's why they have to immediately spin it into something positive because it's hard for them and then you have on the opposite end, you know, the super negative people, you know, who could be, they could be out here getting everything that I'm getting. And then, you know, all they think about is, I don't know, you know, just, you know, Syria or, you know, starvation or, you know, something like that. You know, the type of people who, you know, because the way I am, even if it's just a little bit, you got to acknowledge the little bit. 
And if it's a lot, you got to acknowledge that too. Because sometimes you get in these situations that are terrible. And the only thing to help you maintain your sanity is finding that little bit, that little bit of light. And then, you know, you have situations of the opposite where, you know, everything can't be peaches and roses, you know, because somebody's lying. Everything is not always going to be peaches and roses. So, you know, if you see every situation like that, to me, you're definitely doing some lying. You know, I'm definitely, you know, at least I try to be even killed. <laughs> you know, I'm, I try to, I try to have balance. And being one way or the other, you know, there is no balance. I try my best to kind of stay in the middle, you know, because I, I feel like that's that's the best way to see everything. If I hope that makes sense. But I'm about to go to bed here. I'm asleep inside and I have access to a bathroom with a toilet that flushes and a sink where I can wash my hands with soap. <laughs> and I'm not in the rain or the heat or the bugs. So, it turned out to be a pretty good day. And that's all I got for now. Talk to you later.